God encourages us. Acts chapter 18, verses 9 through 11. Now the Lord spoke to Paul in the night by a vision. Do not be afraid, but speak and do not keep silent. For I am with you and no one will attack you to hurt you. For I have many people in this city. And he continued there a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. We have the record of an incident here in Paul's ministry. He had come into Corinth and had been preaching there and there was great opposition. And so he left the synagogue, he moved out to another place and he was ministering. And during this time, the Lord Jesus visits Paul in the night. Now it says a night vision here and it could have been an, a dream in which he saw this thing. So that's why we, we, we referring, referring it to a dream or it could have been an open vision. We're not very clear, the Bible's not very clear on exactly how we had this encounter, whether it was a dream or whether it's an open vision. But it happened in the night and therefore we're just categorizing it as a dream. And in this dream or night vision, the Lord speaks to encourage Paul. He says, Paul, don't be afraid. Nobody's going to hurt you. Just keep doing what you're doing. I've got a lot of people in the city that I want to minister to. And so Paul continues his ministry there in Corinth for a year and a half. So we see how God brings encouragement to us through dreams. You see, there are times in our life when we need encouragement. And of course, that sometimes you know, the encouragement can come through other people, that encouragement can come through our reading of the word. And there are other ways that God can encourage us. But one of the ways that God can and will encourage us is through the dreams that he gives us in the night. Now in this dream, in Paul's dream here, it was a very clear dream, meaning the Lord Jesus appeared and spoke words to him. There was no need for any interpretation. It was a clear, direct message. But there may be times when God speaks to us in the night seasons and he gives us a dream, but the dream is a symbolic. It comes to us in a pictorial form with images in it that need interpretation. For example, you may have a dream where you see a flat field and suddenly you see construction happening and you see a building rise up there and you see a full, you know, a wonderfully finished building. And you wake up in the night and you're wondering what it means. Now, that dream may not mean uh, necessarily that you have to go and buy a, buy a house or construct a house. That dream may be symbolic and God communicating to you that the work that you're doing is going to take shape, form, and it is going to come into its full measure and it is going to become what God wanted it to become. So God is speaking through you in a pictorial way, giving you encouragement, giving you assurance that the work you're doing will grow up and it will be completed. It will come into its fullness. And we need to understand that and receive that encouragement and be strengthened with that dream, the meaning of the dream, the message God brings us to the dream and keep doing what he's called us to do. So remember, God can encourage us through the dreams that we receive at night. Let's pay attention to those dreams. Let's pray. Father, we just open our heart to you to receive dreams that you speak to us. Dreams that come as an encouragement to keep doing what you've called us to do. Speak to us, Lord, we pray in the night seasons. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.